morning, dear friends. And it is so nice for me to visit you through this video. And I hope you have had a wonderful weekend and enjoy the presence of God yesterday and, uh, and you have been blessed. And this morning, let us spend a few minutes in meditating on God's word. Today's meditation is about the eternal security assured. This is based on Psalm number 91. Now, Psalm number 91 gives God's children eternal security assurance. And uh, those who have become children of God, this assurance of eternal security is assured in this Psalm. And uh, I want to say this is not uh, given to everyone or anyone. It is for those who have chosen to become children of God. And uh, to become a child of God is a choice that you and I have to make. God will not force His will on anybody, as I often say, but it is our choice what we want to be and how we want to live in this world. Once that choice is made um, and executed, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob stepped into our lives, those who have made that choice, and uh, make himself our security forever. This is the blessing of becoming a child of God. And mind you, this security in Jehovah God, the God of the Bible, is found nowhere else. Neither can any other power can assure us of such a security. Now, we must daily see that uh, our relationship with God is maintained and uh, become stronger day by day. We become children of God by committing ourselves uh, to the will and protection of the eternal God, Almighty, and daily seek to dwell in God's presence. Now that is very, very important. It is for such people who will enjoy God's security and protection. And how do we do it? How do we maintain this relationship? and see that uh, it is not cut off from us. Uh, uh, number one, more fully abide in God's presence. We must make sure that we live in the consciousness of God's presence with us. As David said, I set the Lord always before me. And that means he lived in the consciousness of the fact that God is before me. He is watching me. He is seeing me. He is listening me. And he is understanding me. And he knows the path that I take. And he knows exactly where I am, what I am, and what do I do. And in that consciousness, we live. And we live to please God. So that uh, he will not be displeased with us. The more fully we abide in Christ and in His Word, that helps us uh, 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 tremendously in maintaining that relationship, making Him our life and our dwelling place. Uh, and the fuller, uh, the more we make Him our dwelling place, the fuller will be our peace and greater will be our deliverance in times of danger and, uh, uh, and pestilences, etc. The psalmist prays in Psalm number 17, verse 8, Keep me as the apple of your eyes and hide me in the shadow of your wings. Now that is a wonderful prayer. That is fully depending on God and, uh, and, 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 and uh, trusting God to keep us. He says, keep me as the apple of your eyes. 
you know that is very important that is so intimate a great is the greatest expression of love is that he considers his precious children as the apple of his eyes now it is the longing of christ uh, to hide us under his wings in times of dangers and in times of calamities and in times of pestilences as what is happening today all over the world including india it is increasing day by day uh, more and more uh, is um, is the pestilence the danger of pestilence and all the dangers attached to this pestilence and uh, with god nothing is impossible his blood is the most powerful medicine most effective medicine available to those dear dear children of his the blood of his son jesus christ he covers us and protect us from all pestilences you know read matthew chapter 23 verse 37 it is a lamentation of jesus christ uh, when he, on his earthly life looking at jerusalem he he wept saying oh jerusalem jerusalem how often i would have gathered you under my wings just like a mother hen gathers her chicks and protects them from dangers that is what god wants to do with you and with me but he said i am not able to do it because you don't want and my friends don't sit back and say if god wants to do it let him do it god is not bound to do it. anything to you we don't owe anything to god at the same time it is we who owe everything to him and so we must go after it by our life you know psalm number 91 mention four names for god in the first two verses of this psalm four names of god and i would like to mention these two uh, these four names uh, to describe different aspects of his protection number 1 most high that's the name used this name shows that the god of abraham is greater than any threat we face if you read the genesis chapter 14 verse 19 that is god himself is promising through melchizedek who blessed abraham with the blessings of the triune god jehovah god in his blessing this was one of the blessings may you find god's safety and protection in your life number 2 the second name is almighty our god is an almighty god almighty means there is no other might or power above him or over him this name emphasizes his power to confront enemies and destroy any enemy anywhere that is what the almighty name uh, tells us remember david and the giant goliath what is the lesson it was a very unfair result don't you think so david like a small ant and here comes a giant bigger than an elephant <laughs> but ultimately it was the giant who fell by a small stone released from the sling of david you know what happened he david had that strong trust in his god he knew who his god is while others in, in the israelite army including the king they failed to remember who their god is 
but david knew a teenage boy and he knew that his god is mightier and greater than the giant what is the lesson in that victory from that victory we can learn no giant is bigger than our god say it in yourself no giant whatever it may be this pestilence is no greater than our god <laughs> hallelujah any danger that you will face number 3 the third name the lord you know this name assures us that his presence is always with us he is with us in the night time in the day time he is with us in bad time and good time he is with us in a, in a sickness and also in healthy time he is with us in every situation there is not a moment you will miss his presence this is something that we need to believe and trust god he said i will never forsake you nor leave you and my friends it is we who with our rebellious spirit and disobedience and doubt and fears we just leave god and his love he doesn't leave but it is we judas iscariot who left him he jesus christ left him till the end he was even included in the last supper where he introduced jesus the master introduced the communion or the table of the lord as we call it who walked away from him it was judas who walked away from jesus and my friends this is our god he will not walk away and make sure that you will not walk away and the fourth name used in this in these two verses is my god my god my god shows god has chosen to associate himself intimately with those who trust in him this is the truth and let us live by the truth and let us know the truth and the truth of god when you know it will set you free set you free from all fears let set you free from all anxieties and to fill you with confidence and courage because you will then know that your god is mightier and greater than anything or anyone he is with you do not be afraid live for him and love him serve him follow him he is coming soon to take you that you may be with him forever and ever this is a good day and enjoy this day by the grace and by the presence of god he is always watching you god bless you He lives you loves you and I love you in the name of the Lord. Father, I thank you for those who have listened to this your word. Now may the Holy Spirit take this word and touch lives, encouraging them and strengthening them, increasing their faith and their closeness with you. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you.